Well, now that the trade deadline is over, you know what time it is. It's time to push toward those playoffs. And we're going to start talking about seeding and home field advantage and all of that stuff as the Lions lead up to what we hope to be their first Super Bowl appearance. And I saw this while I was streaming live for the draft, and it blew my mind. Now, you guys know, I got to remind you every so often that the Lions are uh, I am a strong believer in NFL narrative. Now, if you don't know what that understand what what that means, let me tell you. It's not that I think that the NFL is rigged or scripted. That's not what I think. However, I think due to certain cir- certain circumstances that the game can be influenced by the refs and also that there are storylines in the NFL. All right, that this is story. This is entertainment. It is sports entertainment, and entertaining it is. I entertain you. We're entertained by the Detroit Lions, and it's more than that for us. But that's what it is. So that's why I say that it is narrative driven. There are storylines throughout. Why do you think they put old? players against or new players against their old team why do you think the Super Bowl rematches happen as the first game of the year right so we well the Super Bowl the Super Bowl winner plays the first game of the year but somewhere what do you think and if you don't believe me go watch last year's run up to the playoffs I predicted the entire Matthew Stafford thing long before it happened why we lost the Dallas Cowboy game why Matthew Stafford, we lost the Dallas Cowboy game because if we would have won that game, we had a serious chance to be the number two or one seed. If we're any one of those seeds, we don't face the L.A. Rams. We needed to specifically be the third seed because the L.A. Rams were sitting at six. But I don't have to worry about it. You don't have to take my word for it. You can just go watch the videos. Caught it. I've been calling a Lions Chief Super Bowl that it is part of the NFL narrative. And like it or not, or believe it or not, Matthew Stafford leaving his run to the Super Bowl was also part of the NFL narrative. Again, I don't think it's rigged or scripted. I think that there are storylines, okay? And I think that for certain teams, they want certain teams to shine. You can see that by Monday Night Football week 10 or week 9, the end of week 9 with the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs, Juwan Taylor is steady fall starting. I think Taylor Decker fall starts a lot, but this Juwan Taylor, all he does is fall every single. It was a blatant fall start, and I only caught the last quarter of the game. And but he does it all the time, right? So with that being said, the Lions, the Chiefs are looking to three peat. I'm about to set up. I'm about to set the story up for you, right? Because that's what it is. It's a story. The Chiefs dynasty terrible for years now they've won three of the last five super bowls two back to back they have an opportunity to do something that hasn't been done ever which is three peat the last time a team won back to back and had a chance to three peat was 20 years ago but the kansas city chiefs have that opportunity and they look like they're well on their way to getting back to the super bowl so they are the favorites they are ivan drago then on this side in this corner you got the detroit lions Never been to a Super Bowl. Only NFC North team to never go to a Super Bowl. Only OG team to not go to a Super Bowl. A bunch of throwaway scraps. Coached by the meathead, Dan Campbell. This is the team that will have the opportunity to take down the Kansas City Chiefs on a verge of a three-peat. The story writes itself. The Lions, could you imagine, we get our first one by beating the team as they try to make history. The last time that happened, they didn't the the team that had a chance didn't make it. They didn't win three in a row. It's never been done. So a team that's never gotten there and won will stop a team that is trying to do something that's never been done. It writes itself. With that being the case, the early odds, Super Bowl spread. This is what it would be. Now, I am not a gambler. I am not condoning gambling. I am not suggesting you gamble. I I like money. I like to have my own money. I don't want to risk it. So I would not, I am not promoting that at all. But I think that this is quite interesting. Hypothetical Super Bowl odds from DraftKings says this would be the spread if the Chiefs, if the Lions Chiefs happen. You want to know what it is? Here we go. It is the Chiefs minus one. Lions versus Chiefs, hypothetical Super Bowl odds, which means the Chiefs are favorite, and I believe they are favorite to win by one. Well, isn't that something? 
Isn't that the way it was when we played them opening last season? When everybody was complaining that we weren't worthy of playing the Super Bowl champions as the year began? I remember that. And we won by one point. But it's ironic that the Kansas City Chiefs are favored. That's what I don't understand. You're giving them, I guess they're getting the whole back-to-back Super Bowl champions. But from what I've seen, it's a lot of them wins that they could, the Chiefs could easily be 4-4. Four and four. Easily. We should be a no. We should be a no. I will say this. A lot of times, a lot of times, and I, I keep telling y'all, I just go by numbers. I go by numbers and analytical data and trends. If you look, and we talked about this last year, maybe we'll rehash it a little bit this year. If you look at the Super Bowl teams, teams that make the Super Bowl, a lot of times it is the one or two seed. If you look at the NFC AFC title game, a lot of times it's the one and the two seed. A lot of factors. They are the they were the best teams, respectively, in their division. I mean, in their in the conference. Last year, this is who made the playoffs. This is crazy. Check this out. This is who made the conference championship games. You had the number one seed. <laughs> it, it was it was crazy. And this is why I get so upset because I feel like we could have won last year. You had the number one seed Ravens against who? The number three seed Kansas City Chiefs. You had the number one seed San Francisco 49ers against who? The number three seed Detroit Lions. You had the number one seed who got eliminated. So the Super Bowl wind up being the number three seed versus the number one seed. It was almost three seeds going together. Almost, but we know what happened then. Oh, still hard to talk about. So this year, the Detroit Lions, in my opinion, were on the way to the Super Bowl. The pass rusher, you could guarantee it. So I'm going I'm to I'm tell you, I'm going to paint this picture for you, right, real quick. We talked about Brian Branch. Brian Branch being ejected, to me, was part of the, the NFL narrative. We've seen that hit. It, it seemed like everybody was getting hit like that Sunday, but he got ejected. I don't think anybody else got ejected. Some hits were worse than his was. He got ejected. Why? Because they wanted to keep the Green Bay Packer game close. They're not going to let us go into Lambeau and, and easily win three in a row. And I've been saying this for years, that the Lions were going to have to overcome the narrative. I still think the narrative favors the Detroit Lions, and I think it, it wants them. It all comes down to what they want the Chiefs to do. I, I wondered this last year. A Lions-Chiefs Super Bowl, would it be the lowest watched Super Bowl in, of all time or the highest? It 100% would be the highest. It would be the highest viewed Super Bowl of all time if the Lions make it. No doubt. Even if, if it, it's a different team, the Lions being in the Super Bowl, would I from doing this, I have found that we have a ton of fans. We have a lot of fans. It's crazy. The market might be not, not, not be that big, but the fan base is huge. We span across the, the globe. It's ridiculous. So anyway, give me your thoughts. I don't like those odds. I think we're a better team than the Kansas City Chiefs. I think it is pure bias at this point because it's Patrick Mahomes. It's the Chiefs. It's the, duh, 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 duh. the last time we played them, we won, bro. As a matter of fact, Jared Goff hasn't even lost to Patrick Mahomes. How about that? But cannot wait. We got what? Two and a half months? Two and a half, no, we got three months, three and a half months, three. I think the Super Bowl is in just under 100 days. So let me know your thoughts, man. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as well because we are super duper close to 25K. I'm going to check really quick. Just give me a second. Just give me one second. Let me check and see. Where we, we are at 24,904 subscribers, man. You can help me get there. This channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. So take care of yourself and each other and make good choices. And as always, go Lions. No bus jokes this time. <laughs>